If I set my settings, aren't they actually set heads? I don't even know what that means. What are the best keybinds for someone who only has thumbs? When I was a young boy, my father taught me how to get the best keybinds, just as his own father had done before him. Here's the secret. The one perfect set doesn't exist. If it did, everyone would already be using them. Instead, I'm gonna teach you how to get the best keybinds that will work for you and teach you just some basic rules to follow. So as you're starting out, you'll be able to learn and have something that's comfortable for you. My channel is all about making you a better player, faster, so that's what I want you to go away from this video with. Now let's begin. A quick note on your setup. The most important thing is first your mouse, then keyboard. You can get away with a bad keyboard, but you can't really get away with a bad mouse. So invest more money in the mouse. Ideally, you want one with two side buttons. If you don't have any side buttons, it's not the end of the world, but they just give you some more options to spread binds out. Fortnite requires more mechanical skill than almost any other game. So we wanna make sure we can do everything fast with no delay. And that's why we wanna spread our key binds out over our fingers to avoid overloading any one finger and giving it too much to do. I'll assume you have five digits on your keyboard hand and you also have your mouse hand thumb to use side buttons on. We have to assign all of our weapons, building, editing, and other key binds to these fingers. After playing for three years, here are all the keys I know I can hit comfortably, so these are the options I have to work with. If you have small hands, you might have less, but that's okay, because I'm gonna give you key binds that are all close and easy to reach. Let me teach you how to assign these keys in a way that doesn't limit your skill and feels comfortable. And we're gonna start from the most important down to the least, which means we're starting with building and editing. For new players to keyboard and mouse, I would just recommend turning on edit on release because that's the easiest editing style to use. The best keys for editing are F and E. Your index finger is the strongest on your hand and it rests on D, meaning F and E are the closest and you'll always be able to edit fast. While we're here, let's set up scroll wheel reset. You wanna set your scroll wheel either down or up as your second option for building edit and then your second option for reset building edit, exactly like this. Now, when you scroll, you will instantly reset. If you don't think you've done this right, check out my full scroll wheel reset tutorial for more info. Finally, I recommend just unbinding rotate build piece completely so you never accidentally hit it. I personally never ever use it. If you feel like you might wanna be able to use it, put it on something you won't hit accidentally further away from your fingers like V. The next most important binds and what makes Fortnite Fortnite building. Two rules to follow here. No more than two build binds on any one finger and try to avoid using your index finger as much as possible. That's why it's really good to have a mouse with side buttons to use them for ramp and wall because your thumb is always resting ready to place builds if you get shot at without having to move your hands. If you don't have a mouse with side buttons, try E and C. You can practice hitting C with your thumb. For floor, use Q and for roof, use shift. You can see now that our build binds are spread out and away from editing as much as possible. So what's next most important? Weapon binds. I'd recommend pickaxe on one and your most important weapon slots are gonna be two, three, and four. So that's for your AR, shotgun, and power weapon, which can be a sniper rifle, a bow, or an RPG. I've never been able to hit five or six very well, so I use Z and X for healing. They're still very close to resting position and easy to hit. Now it's time for all the other keys that are useful. First of all, inventory. We're gonna remove it and instead set cursor mode as your inventory key. So mine is tab, I'm gonna set tab as cursor mode. Now I hold down tab to access my inventory and release it to get out of it. This means I'm never gonna get stuck in my inventory during a fight again. For interact and to pick things up, use scroll wheel up or down. So the direction you didn't use for scroll wheel reset. This means if you're fighting with someone over a chest, you can just spam it and win the weapon. Because I use mouse side buttons, I also have interact bound to C. If you don't have mouse side buttons and you're using my recommendation of C for wall, then set interact as B and hit it with your thumb. We're not gonna be pressing it much because we're gonna use our scroll wheel for pretty much everything. For crouch, I use control and map I leave on M. Make sure you have auto run set to a key like N because it saves you from having to hold your keyboard every time you're running. You can just hit it, run, and then go do something else instead of paying attention. I mean, I don't do that, of course, but you could. I know every time I do one of these videos, you guys always ask me, can we please just see every single one of your settings? That video will be coming very soon. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Turn on notifications. If you need any personal help or advice, 
you can comment below anything you need. If the video helped you, make sure to leave a like and have a good day.